Hit the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss any update from Obesium. These days you don't have to spend a fortune to buy a good phone but there are a number of phones being launched right now in the market so to make your work a bit easier we are listing down the best budget phone for September 2017 which you can buy in this festive season offer so welcome to Mobizium guys let us now start with the best selling budget phone right now in the market that is Moto E4 plus Moto E4 Plus is a semi-compact but a durable phone and it has got a nice half metal and half plastic body. And the best thing about this phone is that it comes with a massive 5000mAh battery. The 5.5 inch HD IPS LCD screen just decently bright in outdoor condition and the price at which it comes with that is 10,000 rupees it is hard to complain. Yes it feels heavy but at the same time it is quite premium as well. It also comes with fingerprint sensor and front flash yes it is quite heavy but at the same time it feels premium. The 30 megapixel rear camera is not very good and the low light pictures are very noisy. So the only reason you're going to buy this phone is because of its massive battery and the latest Android no good. The performance of this phone is not going to impress you much. So if you're someone who are looking for a sturdy phone with a battery which lasts for 2 days or even 3 then this is the phone you're looking for the whole time. You might have heard about Lenovo P2 earlier this year but ignored it in the sales war of Vivo and Oppo phones. It is by far the most underrated phone of 2017. It offers the best battery life under the 13,000 rupees. Like Lenovo P2 can last up to 2 days and that's not all. It comes with 5.5 inch full HD AMOLED screen and it is powered by 2 GHz Snapdragon 625 chipset. It comes with Android Marshmallow out of the box but Android Nougat update is waiting for you to install. Gaming on this phone is pretty smooth. It comes with 30 megapixel rear camera which takes good pictures like slightly better than average photos and the low light images is also not good. It also has NFC support and it comes with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage which can be expanded up to 128GB via hybrid SIM slot. The metal body also comes with a small switch which enables the power saving mode which comes in handy and it has a fingerprint sensor on front home button. Talking about the next phone on our list, Lenovo K8 Plus which is the younger sibling of Lenovo K8 Note. It is priced at around 10,000 rupees on Flipkart and uh, it is the only phone with dual camera in this price segment. It is the most popular budget phone right now in the market with the near stock Android experience and the dual 13 plus 5 megapixel camera. It comes with fingerprint reader and the front camera of it is 8 megapixel with flash. You get a 5.2 inch full HD screen, the battery of it can last up to a day and the processing speed of this phone is faster than Moto E4 Plus. The biggest con of this phone is its camera, like it takes fine photos in outdoors and in the daytime but it takes pathetic indoor photos. The front camera of it is also average and the torch is eye blinding bright. So I wouldn't recommend this phone for phone photographers. If you crave for better camera and bigger screen then you have the option of its bigger brother that is Lenovo K8 Note. The features and design of both the Lenovo K8 Plus and K8 Note are the same but this phone has got a 5.5 inch full HD screen with 10 core processor. This phone only gets a spec bump in the processing department, rest everything is the same. It comes with two variants that is 3GB RAM and 32GB internal storage at the price of 13,000 rupees and another one is of 4GB RAM and 64GB of internal storage at the price of 14,000 rupees. The next is Moto G5S Plus which is a slightly upgraded version of Moto G5S with dual camera setup for capturing DSLR like depth effect. Its premium metal design, the near to stock Android experience and a 5.5 inch sharp screen makes it a best looking and user friendly phone. It comes at 16,000 rupees and it is one of the best mid-range phone after MI Avon. But if you don't want to spend more bucks on this phone just for dual camera but you like the design of G5S Plus then you have an option that is of Moto G5S. The G5S comes at 14,000 rupees with 5.2 inch full HD screen with a slight less memory and storage but you'll get the same battery and the same software experience as Moto G5S Plus. If you're planning to buy a phone primarily for multimedia consumption then Mi Max 2 is definitely your ultimate choice under 15,000 rupees. It sports a massive 6.4 inch display with full metal unibody it comes with dual stereo speakers and it runs on 8 core Snapdragon 625 CPU. The battery life of it is great, it can definitely last up to 2 days and it runs on MIUI 8 but MIUI 9 is on the way as promised by Xiaomi. If you are willing to spend a little bit more, say around 25,000 rupees then you can pick OnePlus 3T which we think it is one of the best phone in the market. It ships with whooping 6GB of RAM and an impressive 30 megapixel camera. 
It looks good on metal body and it has a vibrant 5.5 inch display. It will get Oreo updates soon by the end of the year after OnePlus 5 and we think it is the best value for money right now so you can hurry because stocks won't last forever. So if you are on a bit of budget and you want the best value for money then we think these phones stand out amongst the competition. The links of all the phones are given in the description below. Do let us know your favorite phone amongst these phones and also hit the like button if you found this video to be useful. Subscribe and stay tuned to our channel for more tech videos and if you want to watch these tech videos in Hindi then we have a Hindi channel Mobizam Hindi as well. Do visit it and subscribe to it as well. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ruchi Shah from Mobizam signing off.